Ibrahim Sanasi, the 5th of August 1826 to the 13th of September 1871, was a pioneering Ottoman intellectual, author, journalist, translator, playwright, and newspaper editor. He was the innovator of several fields. He wrote one of the earliest examples of an Ottoman play. He encouraged the trend of translating poetry from French into Turkish. He simplified the script used for writing the Ottoman Turkish language, and he was one of the first of the Ottoman writers to write specifically for the broader public. Sanasi used his newspapers, Turkoman i Aval and Tasvir i Efkar, to promote the proliferation of European Enlightenment ideals during the Tanzimat period, and he made the education of the literate Ottoman public his personal vocation. Though many of Sanasi's projects were incomplete at the time of his death, he was at the forefront of a number of fields and put his stamp on the development of each field so long as it contained unsolved problems. Sanasi was an early proponent of a constitution for the empire. Along with his colleague and friend Namak Kemal, Sanasi was one of the foremost leaders of the Young Ottomans, a secret society of Ottoman Turkish intellectuals pushing for further reform in the Ottoman Empire after Tanzimat in order to modernize and revitalize it by bringing it into line with the rest of Europe. Although Sanasi died before their goals for reform came to fruition, the young Ottomans' efforts directly led to the first attempt at constitutional monarchy in the empire in 1876, when the short-lived first constitutional era ushered in the writing of an Ottoman constitution and the creation of a bicameral parliament. Through his work as a political activist and one of the foremost literary figures of his time, Sanasi laid the groundwork in the minds of the public for contemporary and later reforms in the Ottoman Empire and, later, the modern Republic of Turkey. <laughs> Early life Ibrahim Sanasi was born in Constantinople modern Istanbul in 1826 during a period of uncertainty in the Ottoman Empire. Sanasi's father served as an artillery captain in the Ottoman army and died during one of the Russo-Turkish wars. He was raised by his mother and relatives and began his education at a neighborhood school. Sanasi attended elementary school with the intention of becoming a clerk for the military. He took a position with the Musiriyat Armory, while taking lessons in Arabic, Persian, and French. At a young age, he established a close relationship with the famed reformer Mustafa Razid Pasha, who helped him earn a government grant to study finance in Paris. While in Paris, Sanasi also studied mathematics, science, and history, but he began to develop what would become a lifelong affection for literature. There, Sanasi came into contact with French literature and intellectuals, he was impressed by Enlightenment ideas and cultivated relationships with Lamartine, Ernest Renan, and other French intellectuals. Among other things, he was a member of the Société Asiatique. During his time in Paris, he translated several works from French into Ottoman Turkish. <laughs> <laughs> Government career Sanasi's brief stint as a government official involved a position on the Educational Committee. This group was responsible for the evaluation and restructuring of Ottoman schools. He served as a member of this organization upon his return from Paris in 1853 until he was dismissed. He would be reinstated only to be removed from the position again in 1863. It is likely that his dismissal was a result of his burgeoning journalist activities criticizing the government and promoting European. Ideas. On the day before Sanasi's second dismissal from the Educational Committee, he had written an article advocating for the tenet, no taxation without representation. After his removal from his government post, Sanasi returned to Paris to focus on his writing and linguistic study. It is speculated that conflicts with some of the Tanzimat reformers, such as Mehmed Emin Ali Pasha and Mehmed Fuad Pasha, encouraged Sanasi to leave the country. Language Sanasi's major contributions to reform and to Ottoman and Turkish culture were the result of his use of language. Prior to Sanasi, Namak Kemal, and Zia Pasha, Ottoman writing was largely split into elite literature and folk literature. The writing of the elites was almost exclusively poetry of a strict form, meter, and rhyme. It was written strictly in the Ottoman Turkish language, which incorporated vocabulary words from Arabic and Persian that were beyond the understanding of the common people who spoke vulgar Turkish, 
Kaaba Turkcha, which more resembled modern Turkish, it emphasized artistic excellence over communication. The elites wrote for each other, rather than for the general public. Both elite and folk literature incorporated elements of the Islamic tradition, but popular writing drew heavily on the Central Asian roots of the Ottomans. It employed both verse and prose, but members of the elite did not take it seriously. Sanasi altered the paradigm of writing within the Ottoman Empire by simplifying the language, intentionally engaging directly with an increasingly literate public, and introducing new, more European, genres to the masses. He attempted to forge a pure Turkish Oz Turksha, through the elimination of words borrowed from other languages in order to make the content and style of his work more appealing and easier to comprehend. At the time of his death, Sanasi was working on a large-scale Turkish dictionary in order to help formalize the language. He also simplified the Arabic-based Ottoman Turkish script, combining the Nashk and Kufi calligraphy, but he only succeeded in reducing the more than 500 signs used since Mutaferika first cut his type to 112. Journalism Sanasi's most notable enterprise in journalism was founding the publication Tasvir i Efkar, or, Interpreter of Ideas, in 1862. It was the first truly influential newspaper in the Ottoman Empire. This publication was the successor to another newspaper called Turkoman i Aval that Sanasi had previously founded and edited with his associate Agah Effendi. In these newspapers, he employed a journalistic Turkish that was heavily influenced by the coarser language of average Ottoman Turks. Kaba Turksha. He advocated strongly for an increasing westernization of the Ottoman Empire and also for encyclopedism. He believed that the public should be educated in a wide variety of subject areas, so his pieces frequently included references to figures, such as Plato or Newton, and elevated concepts such as natural law. After joining the reformist secret society Young Ottomans in 1865 and going into exile in Paris, Sanasi transferred the management of the Tasvir i Efkar to his employee and colleague Namak Kemal. He then returned to Istanbul and died soon thereafter. Sanasi, influenced by Enlightenment thought, saw freedom of expression as a fundamental right and used journalism in order to engage, communicate with, and educate the public. By speaking directly to the public about government affairs, Sanasi declared that state actions were not solely the interest of the government. In the first issue of his first newspaper, Sanasi wrote, Since people who live in a society have a duty of loyalty to various official obligations, it necessarily follows that a part of their rights consists of the dissemination of verbal and written ideas to promote the interests of the motherland. <laughs> <laughs> Literature In addition to his work as a journalist, Sanasi was an accomplished poet, translator, and playwright. In 1853, he published a collection of poems called Divan i Sanasi. He is frequently labeled the founder of the modern school of Ottoman literature. He earned this title based on his alteration of the Turkish verse to be more consistent with the French model and his translation of many French poems into Turkish. He drew attention to European literature, expressed the need to make translations from it, and disseminated his belief which became a correct prophecy—that a modern Turkish literature would be born on the models of Western literature." His translations of poetry, in addition to his French to Turkish translations of Enlightenment thinkers, encouraged others to translate significant works of European thinkers and contributed to the westernization of the Ottoman Empire. The Wedding of a Poet Arguably, Sanasi's most famous work was the play The Wedding of a Poet Turkish, Ser Evlenmeshi. It was not the first theatrical work written in a Turkic language, as the Azerbaijani playwright Mirza Fatali Akhandov's work had appeared first, but it was the first widely recognized play written by an Ottoman person in the style of modern European theatrical productions, and it had a strong influence on the canon of plays that followed. The one-act comedy was written in 1859 but was not published until 1860. It was printed as a serial, in parts called Tefrika in his newspaper Turkoman i Aval in response to the growing popularity of theatre in the Ottoman Empire. 
European acting troops from London, Paris, St. Petersburg, and other major cities increased the demand for plays amongst the people of the Middle East, particularly in urban centres like Tbilisi, Istanbul, and Cairo. In writing this play, as was typical of his artistic style, Sanasi employed a Turkish language that was closer to the vernacular, rather than the vocabulary and structures previously used by the cultural elite. He intentionally distorted the way he spelled words in order to make the language more phonetic and to aid in the performance of the play. He included Arabic letters in his writing, contributing to the anarchy which finally ended in the downfall of Arabic script. This play was also novel in Ottoman circles, because it directly and satirically addressed issues of contemporary interest. Sanasi used the play to criticize both traditionalists and the newly developing class of liberal elite. He targeted traditionalists for continuing to engage in arranged marriages through middlemen. In the play, a poor young man became infatuated with a beautiful woman, but according to Muslim tradition, grooms were unable to see the faces of their brides until after the marriage contract was finalized. The family of the beautiful woman used the stipulation to their advantage, when they secretly replaced the young poet's beloved with her highly unattractive older sister. The young man was eventually reunited with his darling through misdeeds of his own. Throughout the play, Sanasi also took advantage of humor to condemn the frequent arrogance and pretentiousness of the self-styled intellectuals. The play is presumed to have been commissioned to be performed at the Dolmabache Palace's court theatre, but a performance may or may not have taken place at that location. It is believed that the first English translation of the play was published in 1981. The Sanasi Sanisi Theatre in Ankara, Turkey was named in honour of Sanasi. <laughs> Later life and death Sanasi returned for the last time to Istanbul in 1869, where he lived as a recluse in some financial need. He opened a printing house and began to have his works printed and published. Soon afterwards, on 13 September 1871, Sanasi died of a brain tumor at the age of 45. Works <laughs> <laughs> Terkam i Manzum 1859, translation of poems from the French of La Fontaine, Lamartine, Gilbert, and Racine Ser Evelyn Meshi 1859, the first Ottoman play, The Wedding of a Poet Durub i Emsil i Osmania 1863, the first book of Turkish proverbs Muntahabit i Esar 1863, collection of poems <laughs>